and I can already see a twist. The cake was poison, wasn't it? On my tea table. It must be of the highest quality. Uh, yes, and we must thank the Nay for bringing these over as well. You're welcome. I'm sure the cake also felt greatly honored to be featured at Miss Farina's table. And I was merely catering to Miss Farina's tastes, seeking a chance to chat over tea. Hmm, it is getting late. Why don't we call it a day? There are still a few matters that I need to take care of, so... I must take my leave now. Oh boy. Very well. We'll end it here. Eddie? Mind hey, seeing me off, traveler. We could use the opportunity to discuss child before I must be on my way. Paimon's coming too! Marina, you better say up what you're planning because this is getting too drastic, even for the last nations. <sighs> the tea party turned out to be even more difficult than I'd imagined. Uh, uh, <laughs> why are you looking at me like that? Is something the matter? If there's nothing urgent, then I shall be retiring for now. Marina, you better spill the beans already because we in. Really, Diana, she's your answer. Oh, I'm glad that you were willing to come with me. Of course, child was just an excuse. I have no interest in your dealings with him. Of course. I guess this is mask for now. That's what time I got. You lent your aid to the children of the House of the Hearth, as their father. I would like to express my gratitude. I'm really not... Like... She's literally in the balance, like, even she's gonna be good or bad. And no way she can go to other direction. Do I look like an irresponsible father to you? <laughs> the House of the Hearth is very important to me. You should know that I care deeply about my children. That was all. Formal topics should be discussed in formal settings, and informal topics in informal settings. I know you just returned from the Fortress of Meripede. Relax, I have no intention of trying to get anything out of you. Linny, Lynette, and Fremine are still there, and I trust their judgment and abilities. They've all been working very hard and have always done all they can to fight back against anyone who tried to stop them, especially Linny. You mean Rithesley. He's a tricky one to deal with. Hmm. It's unfortunate that Linny's so eager to prove himself that he can't learn to rely on others, including me. By the way, and you can just consider this a bit of idle gossip, but what's your impression of Farina? You are outside of our disputes, and the freest person in all of Fontaine, able to move around most easily. Allow me to share my perspective with you. And that's everything that happened during the trial. Master Child was declared guilty and immediately transported to the Fortress of Meropede. And then he killed him. Didn't he say he was coming here on vacation? Does he not feel an ounce of shame for all the trouble he has caused? Although I must say that I really appreciate the actually doing this CDT. Uh, I... I... Forget it. He did give us an opportunity. I will be meeting someone shortly. Do you require help with any preparations? No need. I will take care of it myself. I need to meet with Farina, the Hydro Archon. She is at the heart of Fontaine. But what's fascinating about her is that she often seems more like a celebrity than a working Archon. Oh? 
Come over here, you little critter, you. What? Hello, fan out. She really, she just go out and play with the kitties, really? You dare to run from me? Stop right this instant! My goal is just to discover the location of the Gnosis. But I didn't expect the chance to approach Farina to be handed to me on a silver platter. This is so easy, it's actually making me a bit suspicious. Anything left unguarded oh, is no. usually just bait. But no one will blame someone for taking the bait. After all, from the moment it was attached to the hook, the bait is meant to be sacrificed. Oh, boy. It's just as I guessed in the second before I struck. The Hydronosis is not currently held by the Archon. In fact, this Archon doesn't seem like a god at all. And I sense that she's under some kind of curse. Curse? Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please don't kill me! I'm begging you! Please! The fear in her pupils is genuine. So perhaps she's not bait after all. Either way, targeting her has lost all meaning. Hmm. I left the scene with ease. Nobody came looking for me, and nobody could serve as a witness to my near assassination of Fosalor. I suspect even Farina dares not mention this incident to anyone. Not long after, my informants confirmed what I had guessed. After returning to her quarters, Farina quietly cried alone. She was so scared that she could not sleep that night, nor could she even bring herself to eat her cake. There's no doubt that there's something wrong with her. I began to entertain the possibility that she is not the true Hydro Archon. Perhaps Eudex Nuvillette is actually the genuine article. I, I was right. To find the Gnosis. If the Nuvillette hypothesis is correct, he is probably in possession of it. Alternatively, it might have been hidden in a place that's hard for ordinary people to access. Yes, father. My dear children, please speak. News from the fortress of Meripede. Master... Master Child has gone missing. On top of that, the contacts and guards we bribed at the fortress have all gone quiet as well. Probably the handiwork of that Ridesley. I'm afraid so. This is a good opportunity. The value of a harbinger is much higher than most would imagine. We now have an excuse to exert diplomatic pressure on the Fontaine authorities. Set up a meeting for me. I would like to meet the Hydro Archon and Eudex Nuvillette. Oh, and I have an additional mission for you three. Yes, yes Father. Father. Tartaglia's disappearance was not a part of my plan, but I can use it to make a breakthrough. With this as my excuse, I can ask for an official audience and continue my investigation of Farina and Eudex Nuvillette. The initiative belongs to the House of the Hearth. My wish to investigate the Fortress of Meripede will be a front. Linny and his group will be responsible for the actual intelligence gathering. You should know the rest. Lenny's group is quite close to you, so they wouldn't have hidden anything from you. Y you attacked the Hydro Archon? It wouldn't mean anything, even if you shouted it from the rooftops. After all, even Verena herself is still pretending that nothing of that sort ever happened. Uh, all right then. I've now had two chances to enjoy tea with Farina. I have to say, the leadership of Fontaine is even more inscrutable than I had imagined. I once surmised that Eudex Nuvillette must be the Hydro Archon, but now, that doesn't seem right to me either. I am a servant of Her Majesty the Tsaritsa. 
Over my years of service, I've learned how a real Archon conducts and carries themselves. Whether Udex Nuvilet or Farina, neither fits the bill. It's hard to imagine either of them as the Archon. What about the rest? One is a ladybug. One little... What is called? Little... He killed his same to say, just to get away in a retirement. I say that the Inazuma is kind of the closest to it, and Sumeru, you know the story. Of course, that is all just how I feel. Gut feelings often do not require justification. It is, however, quite amusing to me that after all my years working in intelligence gathering, I've come to realize I am at a complete loss regarding the identity of the god of the land of my birth. Don't you think Fontaine is quite intriguing? A catastrophe looms, yet many secrets have yet to rise to the surface. <sighs> it looks like Fontanians will have no choice but to save themselves. Ultimately, though, one must survive in order to do anything else. Should the need arise, I would be happy to cooperate with you. That's you a don't need to commit to anything right now, of course. I have a feeling that the situation will continue to evolve. And as your name is often connected with noble deeds, I'm sure we will work together someday. Oh boy, I'm really not sure about her. I'm not sure if she's going to be got out. She actually wants to help. I mean, again, she's leading the mina. Even it's going to be very good or very bad. And she cannot return from this. Like, Scaramouche later has a cheat code to escape all he did, but her, no way she's gonna be redeem if she goes that bad. He certainly returned quickly. You must want to catch up with each other, so I'll leave you to him. <laughs> Nevelet, is it over? For now, yes, but this issue will prove quite thorny in the long term. I'm concerned that sooner or later the prophesized events will occur. Thank you for protecting Farina. Hmm. To put it simply, I used my power to force back the Primordial Sea and reseal the Sluice Gate. Hmm. So as expected, the knave has turned up the pressure on Farina. She's trying to feel her out, though I'm still unsure as to her motives. Permission granted. Whoa! It can't be that you're the real Hydro Archon, right? But that's just a speculation on our part, though. <laughs> You can't tell us? Then... Then that's okay. We can talk about something else. We won't try to force you. <laughs> you guys in Fontaine are super strange. If by the phrase, you guys, you are referring to Farina and I, then although I'm not sure just what you are trying to imply, I must clarify that I do not share her positions on a multitude of topics. I believe so. The fortress has a long and complex history. It has seen much grief and suffering. Hmm. <laughs> and now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. Why is it raining? Why is it raining all of a sudden? I can't. I think this is clear. Oh, come on. Yep, he's the dragon. You may be closer to the truth than you think. Oh? And what are you thinking? The dragon of... Uh, what? Huh? 
Please do not be so surprised. <laughs> Farina? What is she doing? Nuvalet! Nuvalet, are you listening? Ah, my apologies. We were just guessing randomly. We didn't guess right, did we? You're not actually the dragon sovereign of water, right? Well, if you don't want to confirm or deny... <sighs> you guessed correctly. I sincerely hope you'll be able to keep this a secret for me. Uh, right, of course. We'll definitely help you keep it a secret. There's still something Paimon wants to ask you, though. Please, go ahead. Well, if you are the dragon sovereign of water, and you are able to force back the primordial sea from the fortress, then since Fontaine's prophecy is all about seawater, couldn't you just use your power to solve the crisis? None of the currently living dragon sovereigns in the world, myself included, possess our full dragonhood. They say that when the first usurper arrived on Tivat, they seized a part of the dragon's power. Today, that stolen power is the basis of the Archon's authorities. There are seven elemental Archons and seven matching Dragon Sovereigns. The Dragon Sovereign of Water who lived through that era perished a long time ago. As their successor, I know far less of that part of our ancient history. In any case, I believe I will not be able to do much unless the Archon disappears and returns their elemental authority to me. Given the status quo, however, I would recommend finding another way to deal with the prophecy. Oh, so even you can't solve it. I still have some urgent matters to attend to at my office. If you have any more questions regarding ancient history, you are welcome to discuss them with me at a later time. Yeah, this is gonna be something to solve next Sunday. I think that's gonna be in September. No, not September, in November. Ah, please go right ahead. There's a place that Paimon wants to go to. Traveler, why don't we pay another visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Paimon is a little worried. We'll see you another time. Take care. Um, aren't we gonna ask him why Corina left? Like, she... I want. can we find her? Violet oh, grass hey, is a plant that enjoys I didn't find Farina, but I find this. And is best picked after it rains. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately. Now guess, what suit will this next card be? Uh, a bare teeth cat? Well, well, look who it is. Traveler, Paimon! Huh. Hello, everyone. Actually, a quick question. What are they all doing back here? I mean, aren't they supposed to be out? Looks like you're recovering nicely, Fremine. Mm-hmm. Thanks to everyone's support. Oh, right. I... I managed to work up the courage to thank Miss Clorand in person. Whoa, how did she react? Uh, she told me that it was nothing. It was as if saving a life wasn't a big deal to her at all. She also told me not to worry about it. She didn't want to stress you out, that's all. She's right, and it's best not to dwell on it. Yeah. Okay, but check this out. We went back to the Opera House and we met the Knave. You met Father? Did she say anything to you? Yep, I mean, you're no father, or mother, in this case. Yeah, imagine that I can only see the comment. She said a few things that were, uh, a bit hard to understand. And also that she's looking forward to working with us in the future. Her attitude towards you is even better than what we'd imagined. <laughs> That's fantastic. You should believe her. She has her own way of doing things, and she'll do everything in her power to help those she considers close, which now might also include you. Mm-hmm. Father is very capable, and also trustworthy. 
Oh, Paimon just remembered that she thought Linny was a bit too proud as well. She said that you should learn how to rely on others sometimes. I don't know why, but after this update, I have mixed signals about the father. Like, I just waiting for that woman when anything breaks down. And yeah, she's showing her two face. Uh, got it. Huh. That does sound like something that father would say. Hey, are you going to stay here for the next few days? Looks like it. Yeah. <gasps> Excellent. I will host a tea party. For real? Then Paimon wants another serving of cake. Another implies that you were already served some delicious cake while you were up there. Hmm, how lovely. Well, next time, you're going to have tea and snacks with us. Jurier? Miss Sijuin told me you still haven't eaten. Yeah, I was working on something, so I forgot. That's no excuse for Huh? What's you two? Yuri, yeah, yeah, Lermine, we're back! Hello there. It's been quite the mess here recently. How have you been? And you, are you still taking the secret passageway from the infirmary to work on the ship? Yep. That is still top secret, though. So don't say a word to anyone. It can be a bit annoying when there are lots of people in the infirmary, but I still prefer taking that route over the one from the Duke's office. I mean, the infirmary does make it easier for you to slack off. Oh yeah? Then why are you also here so much? You two really are just using your jobs as a cover for your relationship, aren't you? <laughs> Not at all! Uh, why do you feel that's good? This is gonna be uh, the last area, the last frontier. <laughs> Traveler, Paimon, you're back. Are you still doing all right? Did either of you get hurt? Don't worry, we didn't pull a muscle all this time. Like the entire day, I didn't raise myself, not even a little. Aside for the that mini games. We're fine, but what about you guys? It was such a huge mess. How bad was it? A few people sustained superficial injuries, but that's about the extent of the damage. Monsieur Nervulet paid us a visit. It was all thanks to him that we managed to suppress the crisis for the time being. Of course, we must also thank you for the help you provided. How did Nervulet know that he was needed here? Well, Monsieur Nervulet has strong resonance with the hydro element. When the water level rises, he can feel the waves produced. I ran into the bombshell bros while bandaging the injuries of the wounded. They were mumbling the whole time about how you just ran down without a word. I'm so relieved to see that you're both all right. If you're not too pressed for time, please stay with us a few more days. Just let me know if you get a craving for any particular dish, so I can have Mr. Wolsey get your meals prepared. Oh, and please feel free to visit the infirmary for a break at any time. I'd like to take the opportunity to spend some more time observing your facial muscles as well. Your happy smiles are quite contagious, you know. They're so memorable, and I've missed them immensely while you were gone. If you can find the time, please stay at the fortress for just a while longer. <laughs> no thanks. I'm gonna jailbreak with this. Okay, who's the last one? Really, these two? That you, you guys are back. Crystal, Maroon. You guys didn't get caught and thrown back down here, right? Huh? No, not at all. Ah, and here I thought you'd managed to escape from jail during all the commotion. I'd held you up as legendary jailbreakers, but now you're telling me you just never left? Uh, <laughs> we're sorry, but we just had some business to take care of. 
All right, all right. There's no need to get caught up in the details. We're just relieved to see you. He was super worried about you, you know. <laughs> hey, it wasn't just me. Weren't you super worried as well? Uh, something like that, yeah. I was also transferred to work in the kitchen a few days ago. I can still hear Quisto mumbling to the carrots. Are those two all right? Do you think they made it out alive? Whenever he'd say that, I'd tell him I'm sure they're fine. Wherever they are, they're kicking back with drinks in hand, enjoying the lovely scenery. Hey, there's nothing wrong with worrying about your prison pals, is there? I mean, considering how they always love listening to all my gossip. These two, they sure are a lot warmer and friendlier than when Paimon first met them. Oh, well, if you say so. I'll be watching you to make sure you finish every last bite. Oh, now we get to talk with him. Do my eyes deceive me, or did I just see two inmates come back after making it to the surface? Some strange winds blowing of late. We wanted to see how the fortress is doing. Is everything still all right? We're fine, for the most part. Nervalet came down and took care of the worst of it. If that's the case, why don't you just ask him to stay here? Oh, yeah, what a brilliant plan. Let's go convince the Udex himself to exchange the Courts of Fontaine for a puddle of water in the middle of nowhere. He came here in a hurry and left without even stopping for a cup of tea. He did remember to take Miss Sijuin's gift with him, though. He sure sounds super busy. Miss Cloran has left as well. She also took her gift from Miss Sijuin. Were the gifts milkshakes? Nervalette got the milkshake. Clorand received lipstick instead. <laughs> uh, those aren't even remotely alike. Well, it's Nervalette's own fault for making Sijuin worried about his health by working so much. But besides that, our head nurse is still pretty fond of picking out beauty products for the ladies. Oh, and I have some gifts here for you as well. Are these from Sijuin too? Nope, they're from yours truly. You've already wrapped up your work at the fortress, so you can return to the surface at any time. You haven't yet served your full prison term, however, so you may continue to use your cell until your term is up. For real? Then we could stay here for a really long time? Really? We want to stay here? You may access the cafeteria for free. Hooray! Just remember to come complete your paperwork once it's time for your release. Hey, we gotta stay in prison. Your file can't be closed until we've completed your paperwork. So don't forget to come find me again when you're done serving your sentence. If I remember right, it was like 45 days by my. We have the 9 days before the flood. So, how much do we have left? It'd be actually nice to actually keep that to I mean, even as a little guinea. Again. We're no longer prisoners, though, so it really doesn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Being free sure feels pretty special now. Come on, you cannot just end here. I know there's still so in 4.2, but there has to be something juicier than come on. You'll do bad anything. We've now gone to so many places together and become friends with so many people. We've never stopped traveling or stopped meeting new friends. Okay, this is a red flag, a big one if I saw one. There are so many bad things in the world and we're just two people, but we've still been solving problems no matter where we go. Isn't that pretty cool? You're counting Paimon today? Aren't you the only adventurer here? Then let's ask Catherine to give Paimon an adventurer handbook as well! Paimon will also be an adventurer from today forward! Ah, I just got thoughts making Paimon.
on Giddy. Oh, oh, Paimon's gonna crash, so you sleep soon, too. The last time we fell asleep here, we woke up to a whole mess outside ourselves. The primordial seawater nearly rose up. That was so scary. We should be safe now, right? All right then, good night to you, traveler. Oh boy. Oh, I almost forgot about him. I'm legit forgot about him. Oh boy, what? Oh boy, the big boss. I guess we know what's gonna be next. And we done. I'm so tired. Oh my god, I'm... I'm legit tired. It took me an entire day to record this. Oh boy. Okay, this. There's one more thing that I have to check, but in case that doesn't isn't important, I just gonna cut it. Where do you want to go next? Shut up, Johnny. If you'd like to see Liyue's tourist spots, I have a few references. Sometimes I wish just to make an intro without an auto without being interrupted. But see you in the next episode. After. Ah,